Good morning. By my clock, it's 11 o'clock. Just kidding. By my clock, it was 11.05 when I got here to my setup. And I apologize for that. I am one of those people who will be almost late to my own funeral. Not quite, just almost. <laughs> and it's because I'm always thinking, you know, I've got time to do this one more thing. I've got time to do this one more thing before I do what has to be done. So anyway, I see there's nobody here waiting on me at the moment to uh, get started unless they gave up and left. So that's okay. Maybe somebody will pop in in a minute. Um, it is a gorgeous Wednesday morning here in North Alabama, and I have been rushing. I did the uh, 12 minutes standing at the sink makeup this morning, just finished, because I didn't want to be late for this, and my clock at the sink area showed that I was not late, but hey, you know. Everybody's clock's different, and Facebook's, well, phone clock says I'm late, and probably it's the one that's right, so I probably should fix that other clock if it's giving me the wrong time, because that's the one I look at a lot when I'm getting ready. I want to make sure I don't have it set wrong. It might have slowed down on me or something, so anyway, we are doing five items, giving away five items this morning because I announced that I would be doing the drawing for my team, um, right? I think that's what I announced, yes, that I was going to be doing at 11 o'clock this morning, and that was for these two crisp $20 bills. They're not, I told, promised them they'd be crisp, but well, they've been folded once because they were in my little stash, but um, they, they're, they're about the crispiest ones I can find in my stash of 20s that my Avon customers give me. I have a lot of customers who paid me with 20s, so uh, I did have a few of those and uh, wanted to get some nice ones. So, I have actually already used random.org to choose the winners for these two because I didn't want to waste my ink printing out the whole sheet to bring it in here that had all the names on it. Um, what I do is go to random.random.org, .random and I had 56 people who placed an order in campaign 18, and I promised that no matter the size of their order, they would go into the drawing for one of these two $20 bills. And so 56 people placed an order, and I used random.org to generate two numbers from 1 to 56. And so I, I've got those names. And um, the numbers, it was just kind of like the, the um, printout that I would have printed out if I printed it out. Just has my listing of my Avon representatives. I'm not sure if it was alphabetical order or, or what of my Cloud Climbers team. It's the listing that um, Avon generates on our system called Vibe. And so I just went down that list, counting, and numbers 16 and 35 were the winners. Number 16 is Barbara Hambrick. So Barbara gets that $20 bill. And number 35 was Ruby Nunnery. And Ruby gets this $20 bill. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Ruby is... Oh, there's a ring. Oh, there's a tear in that one, Ruby. I'll get you a better one than that. I didn't even notice the tear. I just noticed it was crisp. <laughs> so anyway, she will get one without a tear in it. But because Ruby is probably our senior member of the Cloud Climbers. Ruby is, oh, I've forgotten her age, but she's near 80, or maybe she's past 80. And she's been with Avon for many, many years. I did not recruit her. She is one of the ones that I got from Avon when I, hey, Joanne, good to see you. So um, she is one of my team members that I got when reps were nested. I had to earn those. 
a few years ago, and she has um, COPD, so she struggles some, has uh, recently had uh, been in rehab and, and such for some problems with that. She never smoked, but her husband did, and so, you know, she's uh, got some secondhand smoke issues from that, and um, anyway, that's kind of off on a tangent, but that's the two winners, Barbara Hambrick and Ruby Nunnery. So appreciate both of those team members and all that they do to help me um, have a great team. Okay. They are consistent in placing their orders. Ruby even, um, well, let's see, when she was going through rehab, <coughs> she had a customer who needed something and she had me get it for her. Uh, because um, she just wanted to make sure that she didn't neglect that one customer. She has a lot more customers than that because she does do good orders. But um, I, I got that for her and, and took it to her. And I may just take this $20 bill to her because she is in Huntsville. So I may just drop that off for her. We shall see. I'll mail it or drop it off. So anyway, the other drawing, I did decide that I could let that one be a surprise for me too. That's for my customers who had a $20 order in campaign 18. And so I had um, 17 of those. Three of them placed their orders online. They were able to, let's see, yeah. Um, I'm not, I know Tammy Hampton was one, of, she's not a winner. I didn't say that, <laughs> okay. But she was one who placed her order online in order to get the free gift that we had uh, with a $50 order recently. She said, hey, I need these, these, this, 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 and this, and I want that um, free gift. And I said, well, you need to order that yourself at my online store because sometimes there are things that you can get from Avon when Avon is doing the freebies and the giveaways. And you have to, uh, sometimes it's like you have to place an order for direct delivery. And so as soon as I told her, love the order, thanks a lot, but you'll need to place that yourself. She did that and she said, done. <laughs> so she's getting her free gift, but it also qualified her because she's one of my local customers to be in this drawing. So I have not looked to see, I generated the numbers. They are two, 14 and 10. So what I'm gonna do is just take my list here um, this is what I do when I'm fixing to do deliveries. I write down all the names and the totals and load everything up in the uh, Avon Mobile. And then I start doing calls. And we'll just look down my list and call who's in my general area that I'm fixing to be in. And if I get that person, I look and say who's close to them and I call them next. And so generally I'm calling shortly before I'm delivering. Okay, just a little information about my deliveries <laughs> and how they're done for anybody who might care okay number two was Betty Keen so Betty is a friend of mine from church and uh, one of my great customers so I have not delivered her order yet Betty will be getting one of the a boxes I think I'll let Betty have this one this a box let's go ahead and see what's in it I'm hoping some of these will uh, items will be things that my customers have not tried yet, and they want. You know what? This is this is good because uh, it's got platinum in it. This a box has the platinum day and platinum night travel sizes. Also has the makeup remover and some clearly C. So um, there is a mascara. Let's see. I think this. Yes, this is the wide awake mascara in black and an eyeliner and I believe that's going to be in black too. Yes, blackest night. Okay, so those are the items that Miss Betty Keene will be getting and I this is called the um, Pro Picks. Pro Picks. Oh, excuse me, let me die for that. The Pro, Pro Picks because these are items that some of the Avon pros picked as their favorites, okay? So that's going to Betty, and I know that Betty has um, children and grandchildren. I don't know if any of your grandchildren are old enough to use any of these products, but her children are. So if there's anything there that she 
can't use. Um, she shouldn't use it for stocking stuffers or something like that for Christmas. Okay, so Betty King gets that one. That was number two. Number 14 is Judy Haraba. And Judy is also one of my really good... That doesn't feel like there's anything in there. Except maybe it's light. Let's see what's in this one. Make sure this is not one that I've taken something out of for some reason. I don't think so. It's just light. Oh, this is one of our newest A boxes. Okay, so it has the little lipstick mirror. So cute. Little lips. Lips on a mirror. And it has natural nude in the, what is that, glossy tube lip gloss. Now, I think Judy can use that. Judy, oh, look here. Let's see what this lip liner is. If it's Simply Spice, okay, it is True Red. She might be able to use True Red. Simply Spice is, is her favorite, just like it's mine. And so I know she loves some. Oh, there's another. What's the other? Hmm. What is that? That's Simply Spice. So she's getting one. Yes, she's getting a glimmer stick of her favorite kind. And here, what lipstick does she get? It should go with all this other stuff. Let's see. It is something candy red so candy red she can uh, she's one of those that likes to give things to people too she has given me things of value um, when I was collecting teacups for our FHU Associates tea party that we did a few years ago she found some teacups for me and donated it to the cause donated them to the cause so anyway and she found them at the thrift shop of another good friend. Um, so, helped him too. <laughs> but anyway, she uh, will enjoy this. And I know that if she can't use some of these items, that she will pass them along to somebody else. And she's a friend of mine on Facebook. So, I think I'll just go let her know as soon as I'm through here that she was one of those winners. Okay? So, that one. What was that called? This one, uh, it's something to do with lips, I think. Oh, I don't see my board that tells the name of that A-box. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. But anyway, you can tell it's all about lips, right? Judy Haraba. And she's been a long-time customer. Gives me some really good orders. So we got one A-box left. This is a heavy one. And it goes to number 10, Maureen Sylvester. Okay, and I believe Maureen can use these items too. Maureen's one of my customers that I kind of thought maybe didn't want Avon anymore because I didn't hear from her for a little while. Then I ran into her at Regency Retirement Village where she was working, helping a patient there. And um, she placed an order. So I don't, yes, yes, I have not delivered that order yet either. So she will be able to use these. This is the ultimate set. What is, what's this one called? This A box is the, it says LA collection, but I think that's not, that's weird. That card doesn't, sorry. I was ignoring the other phone while I was trying to get ready because I didn't want to be late. And now Miss Barry Fowles giving me a call. So she should know to be watching me, not calling. <laughs> Barry is in the process of getting out of one house and into another and I dropped off a bunch of Avon boxes at her house yesterday so I'm collecting those as they come in and delivering them to Barry and um, I like to pass those sturdy Avon boxes along but I bet Bar Barry is calling me about teaching tonight because she helps me with my Bible class that I teach on Wednesday nights. I teach three-year-olds Sunday mornings, five-year-olds Wednesday nights, and Barry does the handwork for me and the teaching supplies and things for my Wednesday night class because I pass my Sunday morning materials off to my daughter for her to teach the four-year-olds on Wednesday night. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of wild. But anyway, we are taking, I'm sure she's got business to let me know about. 
um, as to what my materials are for tonight, probably. Okay, this A box is the Golden Glow collection. So, um, th it had those the ultimate day and night travel size or two week trial size, we call it, and also a cleanser, the ultimate cleanser to go with it. So, that's got you all taken care of because you've used your Clearly See. They love to put these little Clearly C's in here because they know what a great product that is and that people love it. So, um, A boxes sometimes will have four full size products, if you know, like the lipsticks and the liners and things like that. And sometimes it will have smaller items. Generally, it's a mixture. I see this one is all the smaller sizes, but sizes, but the value usually the value is somewhere between. Um, Thirty-seven dollars and forty, uh, thirty-seven to forty dollars in value. Okay, so who did I say? Maureen, Maureen Sylvester. Okay, so that is all I got right now. I will be doing more drawings for more A boxes because I've still got plenty of those in my stash. The way this works. Um, when customers place $40 orders, just for, so I can explain to you why I have so many A-boxes. When customers place $40 orders, they can get the A-box for $10. And um, some choose not to do that. So, as long as I am turning in enough orders to cover the value of the A-boxes, I can get the ones they don't want. And they only cost me about $6. So that's why I'm able to give them away. Um, as an Avon representative, my earnings range from 40 to 50% on most items because of the size of my business. Um, on others, you get, if you're new to Avon, and this is something I haven't talked about a whole lot, I need to do a video on some of the perks of starting your Avon business. As a new Avon representative, you get 40% off of items except for the ones that have a little... Uh, four dot triangle in front of them. It's usually little black four dots. Not triangle, diamond. Those items are 20 to 25% earnings because we call them fixed earnings and it's clothing and shoes. Um, some household items, the few that we have now. But on the, all the core items like fragrance and makeup and skin care and jewelry, including watches. Now we get 40% earnings. Uh, a new rep would get 40% earnings on those in her first order, no matter the size. On her second order, if she had a $150 order, she would get the same 40%. And I believe the third order, that's why I need to look all of this up and do a video on it. I think the third order has to be 250. It kind of just goes up every campaign for the first few campaigns. And that gives a, the new rep time to build up a business. And so when, um, hey, Stephanie, another one of my customers, Joanne and Stephanie. Um, so, yes, as the, as the Avon rep builds her business, Avon is giving her perks, she, he. Um, if you didn't see it, I posted the um, video of one of our Avon men telling his story. Posted that yesterday on this page. So, um, the, then the, she's building her team, I mean, her uh, customer base. And as she builds that, then, you know, she'll earn more later on. So, the extra earnings in the beginning is just to give her a boost, him a boost, as they're getting started to um, get their business going. So, the, and there's other good stuff that comes as you're beginning of Avon business. But, um... After that, earnings are based from um, 20% to actually up to 50. You do have to meet some good sales goals to get that 50, but the earnings are 20, you, you earn on every dollar that you sell. So from the very beginning, first dollar you sell, you'll earn 40% then. Later on, it may be 20%, you know, depending on the size of your order, but can go up to 50. So that's a little bit about how the Avon business works. And um, I am looking forward to getting to drop off all these goodies. I think I said, let's see, Betty, 
and Judy and Maureen and I have not delivered any of those orders yet so I'll just be able to put these with their orders and get those delivered um, oh my next incentive will be coming up in campaign 20 and I'll probably be giving away a boxes again with $20 orders be that was Barry again I better get off of here and go find out what Barry needs <laughs> Because she must not have left me a message. I didn't see anything pop up saying that she left me a message. So, yes, I'm going to just go ahead and say $20 orders in campaign 20. Not 19 that we're working on right now, but in campaign 20. But that doesn't mean don't give me a 19 order. I need those too. Um, we'll give away some A-boxes again. I'll determine how many I want to give away after I take a look at my stash. Because we are doing... Um, Raking the cash. Avon always does incentives for us too. And raking the cash is our next one where we can earn a locket that says my why. And we can put a picture of our why in there, you know, like a husband or kids or whatever like that. Um, and it's got the oak tree on the front. David H. McConnell, when he began the California Perfume Company, chose the oak tree as a symbol. And so we will see that now and again. I've got it on my key ring that I carry all the time, actually. And I have a little oak tree pin. I need to wear that sometime. Just a little pin. So um, it's, it can even work as a tack pin for a guy. But the oak tree, because of its strength and resiliency, was his symbol that he chose for the California Perfume Company, which later became Avon. And so they are going to give us, we're kind of doing a lot of stuff right now that's retro. And did I post that yet? I don't know if I did. I didn't because I'm waiting. I wanted to take a picture of my new necklace, my new owl necklace. In Pinterest boards, I ran across, it, it actually came into my email, I think, a picture of the owl pin that I mentioned when I did a video about that new jewelry. Um, that's really from way back and I think it was in the 60s like maybe 1964 I've got the picture I'm gonna be posting on here really soon probably not today but I'll get it really soon maybe I'll do it well no anyway <laughs> it's the picture of the little uh, pin that had fragrance in it that we now have a pin and pendant the it's an owl that can be worn as either a pin or a pendant. And ours is a locket this time when it was in the 60s. And I think the eyes are different in the 60s. The eyes were emerald green. And the eyes on the owl that I got in are sort of a, I'm not really olive green, but lighter green. Peridot maybe. Maybe it's peridot looking. But anyway, other than that, it really looks the same. And I want to show the necklace to my mom next time I see her because she had that pin. I can remember it from when I was young. But anyway, we, we're, we're getting a lot of vintage type stuff. And so this locket's even going to be kind of vintage since they're using the oak tree. But we can earn that just by increasing sales. And I think it's from campaign 20 through 24 or something like that that we can increase sales by $100 over last year and earn that. So I hope to do that and get my locket. So I'll be wearing that whenever I do earn that. I'm always trying to earn in the incentives, unless it's those trips. I, 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 those trips are amazing, but they take a lot of work. And so I haven't really pushed for any of those trips. So. Anyway, I need to get to work and get some of these deliveries done. Maybe get some of these A-boxes out and let people know, let my team members know. Because that was one of the things I was doing this morning, is working on the newsletter for my team. And I held off, you know, getting that finished because I wanted to go ahead and let them know who won the $20 bills. The two $20 bills that my team members won. Okay? All right. I'm going to go. And y'all have a great day. And thanks for watching, Joanne and Stephanie.